So I'll just show you the sequence for what we were using in New Zealand to go through the high flow canyoning scenarios there. So the way they usually start, you'd have two anchors and the first one will be set in the dry around the corner from the flowing water. So if this arm was an anchor, you'd normally just feed the rope through it. Take a figure eight and lock it into your harness. And off the other side, use it to set up a self belay. So this just means that as soon as you hit that flowing water near the edge of a waterfall, you're secured in uh, belaying, belaying yourself on abseil to get across to the anchors themselves. <clears throat> now normally when you get to the anchors there wouldn't be anything set up. So the first thing you would do is put an anchor vena into the ring into which you would put your safety line. I'm now secure, so I can take myself off abseil. The figure eight that I clipped into my harness can get clipped in again to that anchor vena. And when I take myself off abseil, I can just put a simple flow hitch into, well, again, the anchor vena. Oh. So the benefit of that is for the next people that are coming across to the um, abseil anchors, they've got safety along the way. So if the ground's slippery or if they hit some high flow or they just slip over, they're secure. So I can then call out, anchor safe, come across, and then while they're on their way, I'll set up an anchor. So off this anchor beena, I'll set up an abseil beena, I'll take the other end of the rope, feed it through the rings, and normally this would be getting taken in the flowing water, uh, and I'd let in enough rope that I can see it almost reaching the, the bottom of the next drop, and when I think there's almost enough rope, that's where I would tie this off using a, a munter hitch. So the beauty of a munter is it's releasable. Um, so when you're abseiling off, off the munter, uh, if the person needs slack when they're going down, I can feed it through from the top and let them down. So the two things that you need with an anchor is that it's releasable and that it's retrievable. So once, once I've got that set up, the next person should be at the anchor by then. They'll get on the line that I've just set up, start abseiling. When they're at the lip of the waterfall, or maybe just over the lip, they can either signal with their hand or through a whistle call if they need more rope. Um, and I can lower them down from above um, until the, the end of the rope is just kissing the water at the bottom, the pool at the bottom. Um, that's when I'll lock this off using a mule and then a simple overhand with the tail. So right now I know that the rope is just long enough so that the rest of the people going down on the abseil will pop off the rope as soon as they touch the, the pool at the bottom and then they're free to swim, they haven't got to sort out any ropes or anything. Um, after the second last person's gone and I'm the last person at the anchor, um, I take all of this apart. So I undo the, the Munter Mule. And again, I know that that's how much rope that needs to be there for the anchor. So when I take this abseil beaner off, I can just do a simple beaner block using a clove hitch against the anchor, and that's ready to go for a single strand abseil. The rest of the rope I'll usually have feeding out of my pack it just prevents it from tangling in the other free rope while I'm abseiling down. Um, and so this cord, because everyone's come across to the belay, I can pull that back through 
the anchor that we used to get across. That end I would tie onto my pack so that if I happen to run out of rope while I'm sailing down, I'm not going to go off the end or lose the rope. Get myself back on the upsail. And then I'm good to go. Once I get to the bottom, while this rope's feeding out of my pack, um, because it's tied into my pack, once you hit the pool, pop off the end of this rope. I can swim with this rope continuing to feed out of my pack. And once I'm in a safe position, then pull it back through this anchor, retrieve it, and onto the next one. Too easy.